all right ladies and gentlemen welcome back to the channel time flies by uh today we're looking at some casios and uh i want to you know dedicate this video to uh, jody from just one more watch she's inspired you know hundreds of us to start up these little channels like this and just geek out about watches whereas before we didn't really have any other platform to do this um but yeah so jody you know probably not watching probably won't hear this but uh just know that we're behind you and hopefully you get back into the swing of things soon because uh you're one of the main reasons why i uh you know got over the fear of speaking and talking even though it's not in front of a crowd uh just to portray my voice out there and um share our love for passion and and watches and so forth and what better way to do it than uh over a casio and uh you know, the budget watch collection, digital watches, and uh, reminiscent times of the 80s uh, collecting these types of watches. So uh, thanks for everything. Hopefully you get through this, and uh, we're all kind of rooting for you. All right, so let's just get into it here. I got uh, Casio A158, which is probably one of my favorites, uh, just because I like the look of it. it. You know, it's got the bracelet. It's not the best bracelet, but... It's a very comfortable watch, and it could be used in a multitude of uh, occasions. Then I found this one, and it's the uh, it's been dubbed by me officially as the uh, Ron Burgundy. Um, it just looks like you know a couch that we used to have in the seventies or eighties. Uh, it's got this really kind of faux polyester with full leather backing uh it, and it's been great so far it's been good i've had it for about a week now and uh yeah i really like it this is the a168 so it's a little bit of the upgrade to the a158 and it is part of their uh, vintage collection so it came in this nice tin here and uh the comparisons are you know not that different so the a158 is a bit slimmer a168 is a bit beefier just a touch bigger um and this has obviously the better uh luminescence it's got the electroluminescence backlight where it's a full screen and the a158 has just a little green pip just like the uh, f91w i'm gonna see if i can uh, show you guys really quickly here just turn off the light so here is the let's do the small one first let's do the a158 so there's the little green light it still works, does the job. I wear this at night sometimes, you can still see it. But then when you get this guy, boom. So really, really big difference there. That's one of the main differences. And uh, yeah, so I also want to do an unboxing in this video as well. Uh, I'm gonna grab it one second. Well, we all know what these bags look like, so I'm just gonna go ahead. Kind of wrestle with it here. And it's another Casio. So let's go ahead and unbox this. We'll turn the lights back on. Okay. So let's take this out. And another childhood memory, instant, instant memory. Uh, obviously, we've all had one of these. Maybe we've had more than one. Uh, but it was this one here that, you know, I had growing up. And um, I beat the heck out of it. I wore it everywhere. I think mine ended up getting water damage. Used to bring this to the cottage, swim it with, you know, swim in the lake with it and all that. So it did go through its uh, paces. And I thought I'd get another one just now to compare with uh, some of the other ones that I have here lying down. <clears throat> so yeah, very simple, very classic, and I love it. It's just got the resin band, but these two are here are almost identical. And uh, again, just really like that color scheme, that blue. It just pops like nothing else I've seen. And uh, I love the tones of it. And so there's not much to say about it other than that it's a legend, it's an icon um and yeah so i just wanted to do the quick comparison so let's see that light again one more time on the f91w little backlight it's 
it's fine i'm okay with it it still works it does the job and let's do the authenticity test and it is a real authentic casio okay so all you do is you hold down the button on the right and it displays the casio feature i don't think i tried it on this one yeah so good so we got some casios here we got the a168 we got the a158 we got the legend the icon f91w guys you pretty much do anything with this watch seriously um okay so those are the little those are the little com comfortable guys and uh just wanted to do the unboxing we did it showed you some of the backlights i'm gonna have to set the time and everything on this it just came in uh but i also want to show you you know some of the other pieces that were you know that we see all over youtube that jody started um you know on his channel several years ago now or a few years ago and uh, we all started watching we all started uh looking at casios again and everything and um yeah so i just wanted to show so this was the next one i picked up this one's now a few years old not a square okay it kind of looks like a square but it's not 50 meters of water resistance a little bit beefier and it is beat up as you can see these are meant to be worn, they're meant to be scuffed, they're meant to be broken, beaten, and battered. I could take some poly watch to this and fix it up, but it's a $20 watch. Not even, I think I paid 15 bucks. Okay, then this one here. This one's really old. I've had this now for a long time. And it's uh, okay, going away from the square kind of look. Uh, this one's a round one. It's got the illuminator, really good backlight. Let me show you the backlight on these guys here. So really nice, clean orange LED. Love it. This one also has the same. Really nice, clean and crisp. All right, so just moving along here. Uh, then I picked up this one here. So again, we're, we're talking like I'm picking up these watches as I'm watching his videos when he did them a long time ago and wearing them, loving them, remembering how, you know, that we used to wear these back in the day and they're just overall really good watches, you know, sports, swimming, boating, kayaking. This is a do everything watch. The Casio Royale world timer. GMT function, alarm, stopwatch for what, 20, 25 bucks, $30. Cause now we're all over hyping it. So they're raising the prices a bit, but it is what it is. 10 year battery life. And uh, yeah, beautiful watch. Let's see, uh, see the light on this one. Actually, let's bring in the, the other one here. This is the uh, referee timer. This is the most recent purchase, uh, just because I want to do a comparison between these two. Um, I love it. I don't. Some people say that it's ugly or they don't like it, but I really like it. I like the look of it. I did mods on two of them already, uh, changing the LCD filters. Um, but then I, I bring I brought this one back to original. I just like the look of it, the black, the white. I didn't take any of the letters off or anything. I just now it's stock. And then this one's the same. Uh, really really cool watch comfortable bracelet obviously and uh, these ones have the three second backlight so i'll show you what that looks like and how that works just push this button here and the light stays on for three seconds and again covers the whole screen it's fantastic I like the orange and this one here is the same as well really really cool i think that one's a bit longer i might have to change the setting but i like the length that this stays on so cool okay and then the last one obviously and my only g-shock is the casio earth tone this is the kind of taupe gray with the blue and here is the backlight
So I have it on the three second function and it's like a little small LED in the corner. So again, this is my only G-Shock. I don't have any squares, sadly. I'm still kind of working on getting one of those. Uh, they're a little bit more expensive here in Canada. I'm seeing like 130 bucks. Whereas when I, you know, a few years ago when I was looking, you can get one for 60, 70 bucks, but a little bit more expensive. This one was 140, but I think it's worth it. You know, people are always oh, spend 140 bucks on a plastic watch, but you know what? This can survive anything. People are diving with this one. People are taking this one diving. It's only got, there's no meters of water resistance, just as water resistant. But I used to swim with this in the lake and it would last and last and last. Um, this one here has been in pools, it's been in lakes already. And I'm not worried about this one. I've even, I think I pushed the, one of the buttons under water one time to see if the light would work and nothing happened. I don't recommend doing that, please don't do that. I was stupid, I just wanted to test it and nothing happened thankfully so just because it didn't happen to me doesn't mean it can't happen to you so just don't do that the instructions say oh, avoid the warranty don't push the buttons underwater or in the shower or anything like that i probably just got lucky nothing happened and uh yeah so don't do that don't recommend it so yeah just wanted to show the uh the love for casio and a tribute to uh just one more watch who kind of got me into this crazy uh casio hobby obviously uh that expanded into a little bit more of an expensive journey for me as I'm wearing my Manta Ocean King and double wrist check today is my Seiko Monster. So again, just a shout out and a big thank you to uh, what he's meant to this community and hopefully he gets his channel back. Um, so yeah, uh, there's the collection for now. The state of the watch collection Casio in terms of Casio the g-shock and um yeah let me know if you guys want any more comparisons between these models here on the table um i will get to that uh, if you have any questions in the comments let me know please like um and yeah let's get this thing going all right guys until the next video take care